Hey guys, thank you so much for joining in. Guys, in this particular video of WordPress series, we will be understanding how you can add table of content in every blog post of your WordPress website without any manual approach. So what is table of content? First of all, let's understand. So for example, I have a blog here, which is on seven unique Instagram marketing tips. And if you see, if I scroll down, here is a section which is called table of contents and this section tells the user about how many you know headings or how many section or what content they can expect on this particular blog and if they find if they want to you know find or directly jump onto any heading or any particular section then they can do this simply so here you can say that tab table of content contains multiple headings multiple section and these are hyperlinked it means if i want to let's say move on to this section seven unique instagram marketing tips to grow sales for example so as soon as i click on this i will be redirected to this particular section only so i am not supposed to manually scroll down and then come to this section i can directly jump on this section Plus, it is also considered as a good practice if you add table of content in all of your blog posts so that users are more engaged with your blogs. But the question is, creating this type of table of content manually for each and every blog is time consuming. And if you have, let's say, multiple blogs on your website, then this is very hectic for any particular WordPress developer or any content marketing team. So how to do this, how to add this table of content on all of your existing blogs and up coming blogs automatically so that you are not supposed to do it manually for every blog that is the agenda for this video so stay tuned watch the video till the end and if you are new on the channel please do subscribe right now so that you don't miss such kind of useful videos from our site so in order to perform this functionality we will come on to our wordpress dashboard and just for example i have one blog which is just a dummy blog right and on this right now we don't have any table of content functionality and this blog will be used to perform this functionality so for this the step number one to install a plugin so for that we will come to the plugin section click on add new plugin and here you we will simply search for table of content in the search bar once you search for table of content you will see multiple plugins but the plugin that you need to use for this functionality is this one that is the first one easy table of content by magazine 3 so this is the plugin which you need to use so click on install now and once the installation is done then you need to simply activate this and now click on activate the plugin this was our step number one now let's move to the step number two that is to configure this plugin so that on our existing blog and in the future upcoming blogs the table of content will be inserted automatically based on the settings that we will do like initially you will see this screen so you simply need to click on no thanks i will stick with the free version now now once you click on no thanks you it will be redirected to the settings page by default the table of content is enabled for post and pages but if you want to show only on the post then you just need to uncheck the pages so that it will only be uh, visible on the blogs auto insert we need to only auto insert on post not on pages so simply we'll uncheck that position before first heading after first heading after first paragraph after uh, you know paragraph number after image top bottom or so you need to decide as per your choice we can say blog uh, before the first heading so whatever the first heading will be it will be def default before that show when two or more headings are present because if your blog is very small in some in terms of length then there is no use so at least two headings should be there display header label yes make it on toggle on header text uh, leave it as it is header label table of content or you can say content uh, inside the table header label take p tag you can change the p tag to span div label as per your choice toggle view allow yes initial view initially hide the table of content so in the example that i just showed you the table of content was visible by default if you want to hide it to reduce the length of the blog you can do that but as of now we'll keep it as it is show as hierarchy yes counter a yes everything you can keep it as it is not a problem then come to appearance appearance in terms of width it will be automatically taken alignment none you can say left aligned i would rather keep it left aligned and have enable wrapping yes because in terms of long headings i want the content to be wrapped 
heading padding not a problem title font size so you can change according to your requirement according to your current theme or current functionality then this is the theme that what will be the uh, color of the background of table of contents by default it is gray you can change to light blue white black transparent again you can customize the colors of title hover link hover everything you can do that advanced level settings in that if you want to ensure anchors are in lower case you can do that hibernate home page category everything you can do that i am not letting i am not disturbing uh, you know much functionalities because whatever the default functionalities they are absolutely fine here you need to see this is important because what kind of headings you want to show in the table of contents so by default if you are practicing good in seo then you are not supposed to show h1 you are only supposed to h2 h3 h4 up to h6 depending on how many headings you are using and then uh, again you can you know smooth scroll effect mobile sc uh, scroll effect you can control that there are a lot of option which this plugin enables and then here is the short code as well so let's say if you want to manually insert the table of content on any particular blog uh, then you can use this particular short code but since we are inserting automatically so we are not using any kind of short code then you can also make the table of content sticky it means as soon as users scroll down the table of content will remain there but it is not recommended because that contains a particular height which will be you know difficult for the user to see the rest of the block so i will just keep everything as it is and click on save changes i have done only a couple of changes here and once i have click on save changes you can see here if i come on the next blog again and this was the blog which we took as an example and if I refresh now you will see the table of content will be inserted here like this since we mentioned that the table of content should be inserted before the first heading so this is the first heading of our blog and the table of content is inserted here and all the headings which are in the blog are the part of table of content now by default it is visible if you want to hide it you can just toggle it and this will be hidden you can also mark this as a by default hidden and once the user click on this toggle then only it will be visible so whatever headings h2 h3 h4 h5 h6 whatever you have selected all the headings will be you know you know inserted in the table of content by default and this is not only on the one block every block now has this particular functionality by default because we have inserted in that so if i go to another blog here also you will be able to see but since it does not have any you know sufficient heading we decided that at least two headings should be there in the blog then only the table of content will be inserted so this blog does not have any headings that's why the table of content is not there but the blog which have enough number of headings have the table of content inserted automatically and whatever h2 h3 h4 h5 h6 you will get that functionality automatically either in your existing blogs or in your upcoming newly published blogs so guys that's how you can easily insert table of content in all of your blog posts in your wordpress website step by step without any problem guys that's it for this video i hope you liked the video and if you did you know the drill you need to like this video subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon so that you never miss an update from our site whenever we upload a new video on our channel i will catch you in the next video till then take care bye bye